Well, as you can imagine, imagine it's very heartbreaking and you, you begin to ask yourself, what did I do wrong or what could I have done differently? Or, uh, but then you begin to realize that, uh, you know, you read throughout the Bible, there are prodigals all throughout the Bible that, uh, you know, that, that made mistakes. They, they were wayward uh, sons and daughters. And then you really begin to realize that, you know, God is faithful. And you really, I began to, uh, I'd always pray for all of my children. And when things began to happen, there were certain times that I would be awakened in the night. And there were things, sometimes I knew why, sometimes I didn't know why. I prayed for protection quite often because uh, I, I knew that, I just felt like that that was one of the things that, that I needed to do. And I, as I would pray, I would, um, I would plead the blood of Jesus over Theron and uh, over my other children too, but, but mainly over Theron because uh, I know that the enemy cannot penetrate the blood of Jesus. And I know he shed his blood for us and that it's, it's so precious. But many, many times I have, uh, and I've quoted scripture. I know there's, in my Bible, there are several scriptures <laughs> that have the date and that has Theron's name out beside it. And I have seen God bring things to pass in his life and in our lives that, um, that strengthened our faith, knowing that um, God, was, God was just faithful. Down through the years, I have seen God work in ways that, that I can't even explain. But I've seen God do such a work in not really small things because there are no small things with God, but the things that, that the the life that, that uh, has been changed. Never give up. Read your Bible daily and ask God to show you scripture that pertains to your unique situation. Write in your Bible, put down dates, journal what, you, what the Lord tells you and ask God to speak to you about the situation but never ever give up and just watch God work in your life and the lives of your children. And I promise you, he will do things that you, that you know not of, that eye has not seen and ear has not heard and neither has it entered to the hearts of man, the things that God has prepared for us. And I believe that's here on earth as well as in heaven. Like this. <laughs> That's the only way I can explain it. There's just, there's just no, there's no words to explain that, that wonderful um, knowing that God is continuing to work in their lives. And I, I give him all the praise because in spite of mine and Terry's mistakes, sometimes he has brought our kids to a great place in him.